Guys, I'm riding along here. I just dropped my kids off at school. I'm going to get my wife a little bit of breakfast. Um, she is sick today, so I am going to get her something to eat. And I had to work out when I'm going to be able to pick the kids up from school because I have a compressor to change out. And on that same job, I'm pulling and cleaning an evaporator. And I'm going to try to clean up the condenser so it looks nice and clean. So when the uh, landlord comes back, he sees that we did a good job. Um, the best that we could do with an old condenser anyway. But like my dad said, if it looks good, people think it works good. So, clean it up. Unfortunately, I got a compressor. They gave me a compressor with mineral oil in it. So, I guess I'm going back with R22 because I don't see a point in adding PoE to a brand new compressor. That seems kind of ridiculous. So, I'm going to probably just use R22. That was not the original plan, but plans change. So that's okay. And I am heading out to get some Bojangles. It's bow time! And bring it back to the house before I leave. See our old Copeland scroll compressor. Should be coming out today. Repiping her up with a brand new one. Do a little bit of cleaning too. Place the contactor and the capacitor. Looks like I already have a hard start on it from before. She was having trouble at one point. Looks like she finally gave up. I guys have a new compressor sitting in there. It's a little bit taller than the old one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these lines off a little bit lower on the suction and discharge and then move them up, pipe them right in there. Pipe in some new copper. I'll get my three quarter and my half inch. Get them over here and make some bends and get it fitted up. With our compressor all fitted up. We have our half inch line coming out into the other half inch line. There's our muffler, high pressure shut off. The back side, what I did was I just cut it off and swaged it and pushed it up because it was just a little low. That gave me the room I needed to cook it up on the back side. So I'll go ahead and flow nitrogen and braze this in. I haven't figured out where I put the dryer. I have to blow up the line on the outside because it's 5 16 I put it on the inside, but it'll be a pain in the butt to reach. So I'll probably put it on the outside. Just blow up the lines on either side of the dryer. My dryer all fitted up. I had to blow up the lines to get the dryer in there. It's boiling. 16 cubic inch sweat dryer. We're gonna get the everything brazed in. I'll hook my nitrogen up down here, flow it in one side, have it escape the other side. And then we should be moving on to cleaning the coils after our pressure check and just make sure these repairs worked. Put about 60 pounds of pressure on the system, not a whole lot. It's everything left in my bottle here after I got done flowing nitrogen. And no, I can't hear any of the leaks if there are any. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to cutting out that evaporator coil and bringing it out here to clean it. And then we will solder everything back together, test the system at a higher pressure, and then while it's testing, I'll go ahead and clean it out real good. Put it up, but it looked a whole lot worse a few minutes ago. Guys, I changed out my run capacitor to do run, checking the compressor specs, and it needs a 45, and the fan needs 7.5, so it's a good thing I had this capacitor because I don't, I wouldn't stock that normally anyway. And new contactor, our pressure, I've been sitting on just over 200 for the whole time I've been working, so that works out pretty good. So it looks like we'll be putting into a vacuum, and I'm gonna start cleaning up my other stuff and getting ready to charge it up. I don't have any water out here. They don't have a spigot or anything. I don't know what the deal is with that. So I'm going to vacuum off the unit as best I can. Won't be able to do a full cleaning, but I'll clean it up a little bit. The only spot it was really dirty, it wasn't dirty inside of here, it was dirty inside the cabinet here, which is pretty typical. But I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit with my lab brush. Guys, I'm going in here, I'm putting in some new valve cores. I'm putting in one right here. I'm leaving the other two out down here for to pull a vacuum because there's enough room on this particular room. But I'm adding a new valve core here because my micron gauge has a depressor on it. So I can leave the valve core in on this one. So I'm going to get ready to pull a vacuum. Get it down to 5 nanocrons. And then move on. I got my vacuum pump running. We're down around 770 microns. We'll go down and we'll rise back up. Because gas coming out of the accumulator I guess. 
So I'm probably gonna go grab some lunch. Probably bob up and down and slowly go downward and then come back and check on it in like half an hour. My vacuum stabilized, everything's shut off. It's at 797. Ran it down to right around 600 or so. And I'm gonna disconnect the vacuum and start charging her up, putting the cores back in. Then we'll get her running. I got a pound and a half on my first jug. I'm gonna pound and a half on this jug. Brings it up to three pounds. I'm gonna go up to two and a half or so. That puts us to four pounds. And then I'll charge it up the rest of the way, or I might go four and a half. We'll get it in there. It might not take all that. The charge is only 77 ounces on this unit, so that's right there at uh, about five pounds. And we'll see. Guys, I have the Testo Smart Probes hooked up. Just hoping they don't explode on me. Keep your fingers crossed. I do not want to die. I've added around, I don't know, four to four and a half pounds of refrigerator. I think we're right around four and a half. Compressor's running nice. You can hear it. it sounds sweet. Wonderful. I had to strap this one line off the discharge line, I think. I want it too close. Strap them together, they ought to be firm enough to hold up. I'll do that here while I'm watching everything. I'll put the pressures up right next to me there. You can see we're coming down. It is a little toasty inside, so our suction pressure is a little bit higher, even though we have trailer airflow. So I'll keep adding until we get right where we need to be, and then I'll catch up with you guys when that occurs. Guys, we're done charging it up. You can see the numbers there. Everything's running really well. The old ream from 93 is keeping on trucking. Hell, she might be here for another 10 years. She might be here for another new coil one day. Indoor coil. Never know. Compressor series shiny. But I'm about to shut this thing down so I can take my stuff off of it. Pack my gear up. Head on to the next one. I used to have long hair to sing in a rock band. Used to stay out all night long. Used to drink myself silly. Go driving for hours.